uh, welcome uh, our viewers. This is Kenya Houses Investments Company Limited. Uh, as you can see, we are on site. We are doing what is known as uh, pump installation and test pumping for a borehole of around 137 meters depth. Um, today, I want to explain about uh, water drilling. Now, there are two types of boreholes. We have got uh, shallow boreholes and deep boreholes. Shallow boreholes are those local boreholes. More normally, uh, unskilled people, normally they dig for around 20 feet to 40 to 100 feet, local people. But uh, deep boreholes, eh? mostly there are those boreholes that are normally drilled by heavy machines. And uh, these boreholes, we li I'd like to explain about the deep boreholes. Now, in water drilling, there are, there are four main stages in water drilling. One is hydrogeological survey. That's number one, uh, whereby the expert, who is the hydro hydrogeologist, eh, should come at the site, survey the site, and um, survey the soil formation, uh, historical background of water, uh, type of the soil, and so on. And also he'll come up with a report recommending the depth of the borehole and uh, how the borehole will be drilled. So that's a hydrogeological survey. Apart from the hydrogeological survey, it's also important to do environmental assessment. That is uh, the effect and mit mitigation factors on uh, water drilling, during water drilling. How will you control water? How will you control the soil? And so on. So th that is the first stage or in water drilling. Um, secondly, the, uh, the second stage in water drilling is um, the drilling itself. So the rig, that is the machinery of the drilling with the driller expert uh, will come at site with a report uh, drilling according to the hydrogeological survey report. So in drilling process, we have got the drilling, whereby in every five meters around, uh, they'll be taking soil samples. As they go, as the drilling goes down, you take the soil samples. Also, after once you have the, the drillers drilled and uh, he's confident that there's enough water uh, from, the, from, the, from the looking, uh, either a casing is recommended or not. It depends with the soil, with the soil formation. If the soil is, is too loose, so we recommend uh, the casing of the borehole. Casing is those pipes that prevent the walls of the borehole not to uh, come together uh, so that uh, during the earthquake or uh, soil formation, the casing help a lot. So during the casing, we have got two types of the casing. One is the plastic casing and the other one is steel casing. Plastic casing is normally used for those boreholes that are less than uh, 100 meters uh, mostly. And uh, steel casing are those casing made of steel, metal, and they are normally applied in those deeper boreholes more than 100 meters where the soil is too loose. So during the casing, we also have the graveling. The graveling is those finer particles of sand, uh, mostly they are from the river source or from the lake, from the ocean. Uh, they are put in between the, the, the wall of the, of the borehole and the casing so that they can sieve uh, water from the walls of the, uh, of the borehole. So that is uh, borehole development. So in, during the borehole development, that is the casing and graveling, compact, uh, uh, and that's all. So after, after drilling, uh, we go to a third stage, which is uh, pump installation. So we install the pump. Uh, and then the pump, we have got the solar pump, we have got the electric pump. It depends with the depth of the borehole and so on. So we install the pump, which needs, we need to have the uh, the cables, power cables. We need to have the power source, either the generator or uh, the electricity um, to pump, to enable the, the pump to run. Um, lastly but not least, 
it is recommended that uh, you do pumping of that water for a bit more than uh, 24 hours uh, running, detecting the discharge uh, so that uh, you see the water table, uh, water content, what type of the pump of that specific borehole. So it, it helps, tens, uh, the test pumping helps uh, a lot to know the depth of the borehole accurate, to know the, which type of the pump is supposed to be applied, to know the content of water in the borehole and the discharge per hour. Uh, so that that during after test pumping, it will give you the, 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 the more information about the borehole. So uh, the fourth stage is uh, we have got uh, now water, water storage. Once you have, installed, you, are, you have installed, once the pump has been installed, you need to have water storage. In water storage, we look at the consumption. If it's a homestead that is a small family, then you need around two to 3,000 liters uh, a tank. And if it's uh, more than uh, maybe uh, it goes with the consumption per day, you need uh, maybe 5,000 lit uh, 5, liters tank. And if it's more, then you need 10,000 and above. So you also need a, a tank. And this tank, it's recommended that it should be on higher raised, that it should have a tower, uh, whereby when the tank is uh, at high uh, height, um, the pressure from the tank drops water with a pressure so that the running of water is smooth to wash the washrooms, to make cleanliness, and so on. So it's recommended that the tank should be a bit raised tank. So those are the few remarks about the water drilling. There, there are other also people who ask about the costing. What are the costs that are involved in water drilling? Now, uh, to invite an expert hydrologist on site, uh, it depends with the site, location, and the distance, because uh, the, the expert will charge you the, the fee uh, and also the transport cost. So mostly, it is uh, 50,000 and above, but it depends. Uh, it's not fixed. Um, they also, we have got the, the two experts, uh, that is the hydrogeological survey and the, and, and the environmental uh, impact assessment. That is, uh, there is a you charge uh, according to the agreement, uh, that's negotiation. But remember, these are the experts who have gone to school, they have uh, taken their time to get their licenses, they have consumed a lot, they have been patient enough to be a professional person. So you will pay a reasonable fee. fee. Um, when it comes to drilling, uh, the cost of drilling water. Now here is where we have complexity because we are, much, we are mostly asked such questions. How much do you drill water? What is the cost of the drilling water? Now most companies they use uh, maybe per meter, the rate per meter, that's 7,000 per meter, 8,000 per meter. 6,000 per meter, 6,000 per meter, uh, 10,000 per meter, it depends. So in drilling, it's just about logistics. So that heavy machinery uh, drilling machine and the experts, maybe that those are the, the, the personnel on the drilling, they'll need a salary. Uh, the machine will need fuel, and also mobilization a lot. So. And that's why mostly companies, they charge maybe 7,000 per meter, 8,000 per meter, 6,000 6, 6, per meter. But that rate is not accurate. Remember, uh, you can charge 6,000 per meter or 7,000 per meter, and you find during the drilling process uh, some complications that are beyond human co control. Uh, they involve, they come, and uh, whereby the client will have to chip in the pocket to pay for such, um, for such uh, maybe circumstances, in that circumstances. Maybe sometimes it's not accessible, the road is not accessible to the site, um, the, 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 the breakdown, um, and so on. Uh, maybe you may drill water and you get that water is not sufficient. You need to have more consultation with, from the expert so that maybe the borehole sh may, could be extended. And sometimes the challenge when authorities the relevant government authorities delaying to approve uh, for the permits in drilling. Those are the, also the challenge, number one. Number two, uh, during the process of drilling, you, f you find that maybe the outcome, water, is not quality. Maybe it's, it's saline or salty. So 
such challenges the, with the gland. You can also get uh, ions that are not uh, good for human. Uh, maybe iron, the, 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 that is the minerals, sorry. You can get the minerals from, from the excavation, from the drilling, after drilling. The minerals in water, that may the magnesium, ex excess magnesium, excess iron, excess zinc, uh, you, can, you can encounter. And those are the, also the challenges. And there's a way we can solve that. We also have a challenge eh, whereby most sites, uh, you, you find that um, the machinery is not accessible. The road is not, is not good. Uh, and uh, you find that uh, it's difficult to, to, for, for machinery to reach at the site. Uh, and also, uh, another challenge is the, this, process, this process is costly. Most people cannot afford it. And uh, it's because of the involved expertise. It's a long, it's a process. It's a long process that uh, takes time uh, to get water. So we find that uh, it is costly to most people. And we welcome the clans to come to us, whereby we have the assistance. We can uh, we can do financing of boreholes, drilling. We, only, we, we help the consultations fully, and. Uh, uh, the client can pay either 50% or a certain percentage that has agreed with the company and the rest, and the, rest the balance, uh, he can pay in installments at his convenient uh, pace uh, where of which he can afford. So we welcome all people to our company. We do this work across Eastern Africa, that is uh, in Kenya, uh, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, uh, Somalia, that is South, South Sudan, and Congo Kinshasa. So we welcome all people so that we can join together to have water. Remember that uh, water is a necessity in human life. Without water, there's no life. Without water, there's no development. Without water, then there's nothing. So we welcome people to put heads together so that we can develop our country, our nation, our lives by having good quality drinking water to all people. Water, once you have drilled water, you can sell. You can make it under commercial. You can use it for the agricultural use. You can also use water for anything that's domestic use. So, and that's why without water, there's no development. So most families suffer because of uh, lack of water, lack of enough water. And this has made uh, extra cost to the government. Uh, because of lack of water within some areas. So we welcome people who cannot afford water, who cannot afford drilling. We have got so different types of the drilling of the boreholes uh, and we welcome any budget. We can work with any budget so that uh, we finance the rest.